Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have two envelopes. And the first one I'm going to open comes from Chile, from Pablo. I've done some trading with Pablo. I actually sent him four protocol sorcerers, four Timmy's unlimited. I usually, Pablo, do not trade those. But, I mean, you're going to play with them. And um, it, I think it was good. And you had some really sweet cards for me. Um, coming out of um, for for in my foreign black border deck. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's uh, open this up. This is kind of easy tape. I like it. I like it. Thank you. This is like um, in Dutch we say schilders tape. It's a little bit easier to exactly to rip. That is helpful. And. I guess I gotta rip the sides here as well. There we go. Boom. This is an empty sleeve. This one has something in it or not. Yes. You know what? We'll leave this for last because it, it was in a, a hard case. So we'll leave it for last. Then we have uh, this one and it's a dark ritual, of course. Because losing is always a Chilean ritual, sweet. That's his nickname, the Chilean ritual. I like, look at the altar, really cool, the flag of Chile. Sweet, Pablo, thank you, man. That is quite nice. Let's have a look. What are we gonna find in this one? Hey, Timmy. Sweet. That is super cool. The Tim. Love it, love it, love it. Gonna put it here. I am getting spoiled today. And then these are probably the cards we traded for. Yeah, there we go. Circle of Protection Red. Really sweet. This is gonna go in my sideboard because believe it or not, I don't have any COPs yet foreign. And then talking about COPs, look at that. Circle of Protection Blacks, that's great. And I think that this card is actually a balance Yep, it's a balance. Wow. Really, really cool. Really sweet to see a black border and also in this foreign language. I'm not sure if this is Korean or Japanese or Chinese. I know you can see it based on the full stop here, that dot. But I have to refresh my memory on that. I did a video on it um, with Timmy's where I looked into it. So I'm just going to check my own video again <laughs> to try to find out what language this is. But of course, if you know it already, feel free to tell me in the comments below. But thank you so much, Pablo, for these uh, beautiful cards. And of course, this absolutely stunning uh, balance that I am so going to play with joy in my foreign black border deck. So I'm going to put the cards here. There we go. And now I'm going to open up this one. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be really, really cool. I think, did I put it? Yeah, I put it there because I already have this card. But the thing is, I have an artist proof of the card and I've got like one normal copy. But then I saw that you were selling these, Alex, and you've got four beautiful ones, but also four signed ones. And they're signed at the same time. So the, uh, the autograph is identical on all four. Well, you know what? I'm just, instead of talking about it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Let's, you know what? I'm going to get scissors for this one. Let's get the scissors. I didn't need scissors for Pablo's, which was really nice, Pablo. But now I need scissors. There we go. And here we see the card already. So it's an energy flux. And art, of course, by Kaya Foglio. And here's, I think it's a pretty neat autograph. I mean, I'm not a fan of all the autographs of all the artists, but I like this one. Again, it's super subjective, right? Some people like signed cards, some people don't. Some people are like me that they like certain signed cards. It's, uh, that's what makes it fun, right? That we're not all collecting the same, we're all enjoying the same game, but within that game, we all have our own little, you know, preferences and cards that we love. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna show them from close by. I guess we're just gonna do one at a time. This is the last one, here we go. So here you can see the card, beautiful condition, absolutely stunning condition. Wow, 
What a stunner. What a stunner. And here we see the other one. And we have, of course, four in total. Yeah. Insane. Absolutely stunning. So I've got four of these now signed. I also have an unsigned one that's in really good condition. And I also have on top of that, I never realized that I like this card so much, but I guess I do because I've got so many. I also have this one. And uh, let me see, how can we, yeah, there we go. And here you can see the autograph is slightly different. This one, so this is one that was already in my collection. And this is, as you can see, an artist proof card. And now I also have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful signed cards, a full play set. I love it. I'm gonna play them in the sideboard of Timmy's Spellbook. So thank you very, very much, Alex, for um, for selling them to me. Thank you, man, I really appreciate it. Um, and this was today's meal day, I guess. So thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor?